Today, I have this stump, which is about 33 inches tall, about 21 inches in diameter, and I'm gonna use this to mount a leg vise that I happened to get the other day, which is right here. Now, it's already got the bracket on there. I'm not gonna remove it just because I'm sure it's been on there for 100 years, and it's not worth messing with. But, it'll mount just about like that. Well, there's a few issues with it. The first issue I have is this is roughly an inch up off the ground. So I need to get that leg to touch the ground. Now to solve this problem, I could just simply cut an inch off of the top of this stump, which is probably the smartest thing to do. And in my case, I just decided that I didn't want to do that. And I happen to have this piece of steel, which is off an old leaf spring, off an F-150. The only reason I know that is it still says forward on the stamp. But I'm just gonna go ahead and forge a chisel and I'm gonna outline this whole bracket on this and I'll just sink this down in one inch and then it'll be done. Now the piece I'm deciding to work with is roughly around an inch and a quarter. It's about a quarter inch out on the end and it tapers up to right around a half an inch. So it's just whatever I had laying around. But the idea here is, is that I want to forge back and I want to recess this in and then I'm going to knock this whole bar down. Most likely I'm going to have too much material. And then I'll flatten off the end and this will be the chisel. And this will just be a struck end of a handle. Nothing crazy. So let me get the forge fired up and see if I can't make this look like something. I'm gonna start by squaring this end up just to have something to work with. Let's set this thing down, make an offset here. It's probably gonna take me a little bit to get through this. I'll come back whenever I get a shoulder form. I had to change my plan of attack a little bit to get a better shoulder, but this is what I've got is a finished shoulder. It's, well, not finished, I guess. It needs a little bit of refinement, but it doesn't look bad. I can live with it for now. We'll clean it up later. Now onto the easy part, just forging down this. I'll probably run a fat taper up here towards the top just because it, this material is already thicker.
Now I like to draw out over the horn. It's a little bit easier for me. I know a lot of people don't, they forge over the side, but mine's broke down pretty bad. I just try to leave it alone. I'm going to go ahead and forge in an offset because I don't need near this much material and I might as well get rid of it. Since I don't have all the tongs in the world, I'm going to go ahead and forge another offset so I can hold this a little bit better. A bit of a waste of steel, but I got plenty of time. Okay, I got this looking pretty good. I need to come back in here and clean up these shoulders a little bit with a file, just to make sure there's no cold shuts. And then after that, I think that I can go ahead and octagon this off, make a nice handle out of it, and cut it off right here. From my experience, whenever you're forging something new and you're kind of winging it as you go, the smaller parts in your forging, you're gonna stress it out real bad. And this one here doesn't look terrible, but I'm just gonna go ahead and file in these shoulders a little bit, just to see if I have any cold shuts in there. And then if not, we'll just kind of clean that up a little bit and move on. Looking pretty good so far. I'm going to go a little bit deeper and see what's going on and then we'll go back to the forge. I'm going to start by squaring this end of this chisel back up. Okay, and then I'm going to start octagoning this, the handle out while it's a little bit colder. It makes it a little bit easier, I think.
looking pretty good for at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and get another heat and I'm gonna finish the chisel. I'm gonna put a bevel in at the end and we'll probably knock some in right here at the sides too just to make it look like something. Save me a little bit of grinding. That'll save a little bit of grinding. And I'll probably get those profiles looking a little bit better before I go ahead and normalize it. Try to get all the final planishing done to this, and then I'll be about ready to normalize after I get a touch mark knocked in it. Looking pretty good. It's pretty straight. And I would say that I could probably go ahead and get a touch mark put in this. I say let's give it a whack. This particular belt sander that I happen to have is a 2x42 Craftsman. And originally, it had this planum on it. And it was kind of junk. It sits back behind the belt, and so the belt would actually flex inward before anything would actually touch it. So to correct that, I made my own. And this isn't perfectly flat. This is just a piece of angle iron. It's pretty close. but. For most projects, if it's got to be pretty flat, I like to just finish with a file. That way I don't have to worry about it. It looks good and functions right. So I'm just going to chuck this into my vise and then just kind of straighten it up with a file. And then I would say that we'll be ready to go to the heat treat. So this is hardened, it's tempered, and now all I have to do is spend the next probably hour and a half 
making sure that the back's flat and then we'll get this nice and sharp and then we'll try it out. Here's the finished chisel. I'm happy with the way it turned out. I have roughly an seven and a half inches overall length. I'm right at a half an inch on the top. And I'm right a little bit heavier than a quarter on the bottom. Everything turned out really good. It's nice and sharp. The back's nice and flat. Got it honed down. And the handle is offset just ever so slightly just to keep it up off the wood. Overall, I think it turned out very well. It needed a little bit more refinement. I mean, this handle could have been straightened out a little bit better as far as the octagon, but I think that it's a great tool and it's probably gonna last me for years. In the next video, I'm gonna use this chisel to go ahead and mount this leg vise that I have into this stump. Now it's probably gonna take quite a beating and we'll see if it lasts, but I believe it will. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it.